In today's video, I'm going to give you everything that you need to know about writing with ChatGPT's new model, ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. This new feature blew me away, and by the end of this video, you will be a pro at writing using ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. If you're looking for an AI community to call home where you have weekly calls, content, and regular news updates, then I highly recommend joining my community, AI Foundations. I started this community with my brother, who is known as AI Foundations on YouTube, and we've been networking, learning, and leveling up alongside the members. I'll leave a link below this video if you are interested in joining this community. As we scale the community up, the price will go up, so I recommend jumping on as soon as possible. And before we dive into this video, please drop a quick like. It'll help me out a ton in boosting this video out there and getting it in front of more people. I found that all the videos that break records on my channel have been the ones where I said to like the video in the beginning. So as cheesy as it is, please go ahead and like this video before we take off because I did put a lot of research into this video. Now, just diving into ChatGPT, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go up to the left hand corner here and you're going to want to change to GPT 4.0 with Canvas. When it comes to writing, I can just drop a simple prompt in here, like write a blog post on healthy habits for busy professionals, and I can send this off. So on the right here, you see that it's generated my article on healthy habits. This right piece is considered the canvas and the left side is still considered the chat. The first step says start your day with intention. And if I highlight this and say ask ChatGPT, I can have it edit or explain this information to me. So I'm just gonna say list some affirmations here that I can conduct every morning and I'll send that off. And it's just gonna go in and edit that piece of the document. So I could iterate as much as I want on this particular piece. I could say, turn this part into partial bullet points for the affirmation reps. And it actually just edited the part that it needed to edit. It didn't edit the whole document. So this used to be this messy thing where you'd have to go in and find where the actual answer is within the prompt and it wasn't separate in a nice canvas like this, but now you can see exactly what content you're working with and you can edit specific parts of it. If you hover over this bottom right corner here, you're going to see the toolbar and the toolbar has five options, suggest edits, adjust the length, change the reading level, add final polish or add emojis. So let's quickly adjust the length of this article to make it more engaging. And as you can see, it's rewriting this article now and making it a bit shorter for me. If this article is too simple for me, I can change the reading level right here. So let's just bump the reading level up to a college reading level, as opposed to having it at the basic average reading level. And now it's actually writing me a more detailed document here. Now that our document is super close to being finished, I can click this button right here, hit suggest edits and send that off. This is gonna come back with different edits that it's going to suggest for my document in various locations to improve the document overall. Now here it says failed to comment. And this can happen from time to time with this version of Fora with Canvas. I'm sure they'll improve on this, but right now sometimes the comments have issues. So you can try it again and we'll see if that works. And again, it failed to add the comments. If this continues, you can just say, give me the comments manually here in the chat. And hopefully OpenAI will improve on this so that we don't get these errors. It did still give me the comments right here, but it just had a hard time commenting them into the actual text. I'll just say, go ahead and implement these improvements. And it will actually go through and make those five edits for me, even though the commenting failed. Let's put some finishing touches on this article by hovering over the toolbar and then hitting add final polish. What add final polish will do is it's going to go through and it's going to get this document ready to publish. Now it's finishing up this final article so I can go through, finish up, add my own personal touches, and then I can use this as a piece of content or even just a content idea. If you enjoyed today's video, I think you'll love our community. So just a quick reminder to join AI Foundations using the link below if you wanna take it to the next level with me, my brother Drake, and the amazing network that we've built over there at AI Foundations. I hope to see you there.